Hi everyone, I'm Beth Kingston of Kingston Crafts. Welcome to Home Talk, the world's largest community for home and garden. If you're watching this premiere on Home Talk TV, I'm watching along with you and answering comments. So give me a shout out, let me know where you're watching from and be sure to post your questions because I'm happy to answer them. If you want to be notified of future episodes, simply click on the follow button, then either download the Home Talk app or enter your email address and you'll never miss another show. Now, let's get started making some fun stuff. Today we're talking about two of my favorite things, <laughs> candy, and making pretty decorations for not a lot of money. So we're going to talk about shopping your house, we're going to talk about using inexpensive items to make some really cute holiday decor that, oh by the way, you could do for almost any other holiday as well. Let me show you what we've got. First, we're gonna start out with a variety of glassware. Some of these are from my house. Some of these I picked up really inexpensively um, at dollar stores or discount stores. And you just wanna get a variety of sizes and shapes. So I've got a bigger vase up here. I've got a bud vase. I've got a couple, uh, a large cup. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got everything in between. I've got a little fish bowl, and then some of the smaller ones. These are actually disposable mini dessert cups. And then I've got um, a votive candle holder or a shot glass. And I've actually brought one of my own little dessert plates from upstairs because I'm going to show you the really cool stuff we can do with it. Then what you're going to do is start mixing and matching the sizes. You want one to fit inside the other, and that's going to give us a basis for what we're going to do next, which is pour in some candy. I'm very excited. So, for example, I want to use this fish bowl. So to use the fishbowl, I'm gonna to need to use obviously one of these smaller bits because just as an example, that's too big. <laughs> we don't want that. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this as a candle holder. So I would either use the little mini votive holder inside and turned upside down, or I can use this plastic um, dessert cup. Why I'm going to use this one is it actually takes up a little bit more room inside the bowl. And what that does is it allows me to add a little less candy, which saves you even more money. So we're gonna set that one aside. Then we're gonna talk about this Mac Daddy right here. <laughs> So I love big vases. I love big statement pieces, but I do not like to spend a lot of money. So for this one, I took a plastic glass that I already had at home, and I'm going to set this in here. We're actually going to use this as a vase. But before you do anything, you want to make sure, and we're going to come back to this in a second, you want to make sure there's enough room all around the lip that the candy is going to fit inside. So I'll talk about that once we get started. But you just want to make sure when you're putting the smaller item inside the bigger that you're going to have enough room to put candy everywhere. Then last but not least... I'm gonna use this really beautiful, this was, um, I found this at a discount store and I love that it's already got a little logo on it. So that's gonna give an extra pop. And I want to use this bud vase. So here's a, here's a great tip I'm gonna show you in just a bit. I wanna use this bud vase. It's a little bit lower than I want it to be. So when we get ready to fill this, I'm gonna show you a trick that I use. So I'm gonna set aside all these other glasses. And first we're gonna start with this. So. Because this fits really snugly inside here, I don't need to do anything else to it. I'm going to show you some other tricks in just a little bit about using different types of materials to maybe hold the um, interior piece still. So look over here at all my glorious candy. <laughs> um, I love candy. I'm going to tell you some confessions about myself. Um, but when you're looking for candy, you want to get smaller candy if possible. Obviously, we're all really familiar with conversation hearts. I'm going to be using those. M&Ms are also a really great um, item to use because they come in a bajillion colors for every holiday, and they're all so small. But I found these at the store, these Jolly Rancher Jelly Hearts. First of all, they're the most amazing food I've ever <laughs> eaten, and I love candy. Um, but secondly, they're, they're large, but they're not so large, and I love the different colors. So what you're gonna do is simply put your, I, I like to hold it down with my finger, the inside, and I'm just gonna start loading hearts in here. And you could pour it if you wanted to. Um, if I was not doing this on camera, I might pour it but I don't want to run the risk of maybe spilling some, so I'm just going to load this. Um, so while, while I'm doing this, let's talk about some very controversial candy um, issues. How many of you actually love the conversation hearts? 
Do you eat them? Um, I don't necessarily love the flavor of them, but I love decorating with them. Um, so tell me your thoughts. Do you love the conversation hearts to eat? Ooh, there goes one. Do you just use them for decorating? Do you avoid them all costs? Inquiring minds want to know. So once you've got um, some of your hearts in there, you can actually let go of the center and it makes it go a little bit faster. Fill that up. I, here's another confession. I feel like I'm telling you guys all my secrets. I don't love chocolate that much, which I think that works in my favor, um, but candy and cookies, this kind of candy, I'm not ashamed to tell you I've already eaten about, I don't know, half a bag of these. So you fill it up to whatever desired level you want to, but you want to make sure that you've covered um, whatever cup you have inside so that you're not going to see it from the outside. And then all I'm going to do is take my candle and set it on top. I mean, that took 90 seconds, but look at how cute this is as a gift or as a centerpiece or on your foyer table, a anywhere you look. And it just took two inexpensive pieces of glass or glass and plastic, a candle I already had at home and some delicious candy. So that's trick number one. Trick number two. Let's talk about this really pretty vase with the bud vase inside. So as I mentioned before, I wanted to um, put this in here, but it's a little bit lower than I wanted. Normally, I like to rest my inside container on the bottom of my outside container, but because I'm using something small, so I'm gonna use these M&Ms, I can actually pour some in the bottom to give myself, let me grab this bag right here, to give myself a little extra height. So I'm gonna pour about that much in. And the nice thing about this is you're not doing anything permanent. So if I pour these in and realize, oh no, I put in too many, you can just scoop them out and start over. That looks about where I wanna be. Maybe I'll put in a few more. Add this inside, and then I'm going to take, well, I left it over here, run over here. I'm going to take just a piece of um, plastic, like this is a plastic bag, you could use a paper towel. Um, you want to put it inside so that you don't fill your glass with candy, because then it will be hard to get out. So I'm going to set that in there. All right, and then... Again, I'm just gonna hold on to this for a little bit. You're gonna start pouring in those M&Ms. Now M&Ms, even though I'm not a super chocolate lover, I do love M&Ms, especially from the fridge. Um, tell me what your favorite Valentine's Day candy is. I wanna know everybody's, everybody's secret. What's your favorite? Um, do you have a special kind of candy some other time of year that you enjoy eating? I know Christmas was just, oh my gosh, a couple days ago uh, or, or last week. Um, Here's another tip. Instead of shaking the bag all around, I actually rotate the glass while I'm working. And that makes it go a little easier. Um, also, for those of you just tuning in, or for those of you, everybody's tuning in to me for the first time, because this is my very first home talk, and I'm so excited to be here with everybody. So I'm hoping this is gonna be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So if you are liking what you're seeing, if you click that follow button, then you guys will always know when I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be doing this about twice a month, and I'm super excited about that. So look at how pretty just those M&Ms look against that Live, Laugh, Love. Again, it was a really inexpensive vase. The pop of color really makes it look like I've spent a bajillion dollars. Then when I'm ready, I pull out my plastic bag. Come on, buddy. Whoop. Yeah. Oh no, we've lost a few M&Ms. I might have to eat them. Um, my vase came up just a little smidge when I pulled it out. So then I can just add a few more. Oh, we lost, lost one. Then when you're ready to add your flowers or whatever you're gonna add, I'm just going to take <laughs> a funnel and I'm going to take a cup of water. And with this, you wanna be really careful. I actually don't put much water in because you can't see very well inside there. I can sort of see from a different angle of the glass. I'm just gonna pour that in. All right, lift this out. That way, you're not risking getting any water on the candy. 
and then I can set that inside there and it's just a fun little thinking of you gift for someone. Okay, candy question number 732 that I've got for everyone. Would you eat this candy now that you've put it in the vase? <laughs> I would, I would for sure eat this candy. Um, my hands are clean, the vase is clean. I just love the way that this turned out, but it's sort of, to me, it's sort of a twofer gift because you're getting um, the vase, you're getting the candy, you're getting the flowers. I just, I just love everything about it. Okay, now let's talk about the Mac Daddy. And now we're gonna talk about putting different, using adhesive, but not permanent adhesive to hold everything in place. We're gonna talk about some glue dots. I don't know if you guys know about glue dots. Um, I've put all the materials in the materials list and so you can go ahead and click that button. If you're not familiar with glue dots, they are going to change your life. They have absolutely changed mine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my large vase and I wanna decorate the outside with some ribbon. I'm gonna do that first because once we start adding all the different embellishment, normally, um, you know, if you have a vase, you're going to fill it with flowers, you're going to fill it with water, and then you can just really easily tie the bow. Because I'm adding, adding candy and other things, I can't risk sort of tilting it to tie it. So what I'm going to do is add the ribbon first. I've already pre-cut my ribbon, and I'm just going to take one glue dot. If you're not familiar with glue dots, there are these, they're dots of glue. <laughs> and what's great about them is you can lay them flat, you can roll them. These are a little bit blue so you can see where they're going. I just lay one right there and that's going to hold my ribbon in place for me since, since I'm doing it sort of at a weird angle. And what's the great about that is once I put the candy and the flowers in here, you're not going to see that. So then I can lay this down and I can start tying my bow. Now, true confessions, again, everyone. Um, I'm not an expert bow tire. Don't let the wall of ribbon behind you <laughs> fool you. Bow tying is not my expertise, and it actually is one of the things, one of my crafty goals for 2020 is to learn to be a better bow tire. Um, does anyone else have any crafty? Tell me what your crafty goals are for 2020 or your regular goals. I'm not one to set, you know, New Year's resolutions, but I, I like to try new things, and so this year, um, becoming a better bow tire is on my list of things. So, just gonna grab these, give it a little tie. Um, wired ribbon, for those of us who are not great bow, tie, bow tires, wired ribbon is your friend. And I know there are some incredible instructors on here who have done some really beautiful, um, gosh, there's been some amazing wreaths in some of the other classes. So I'm super excited to go back and take a look at those. And then I'm, every woman's trick, I'm gonna use my waist to hold this steady. And then you just cut this off. So now this is gonna be ready so when I add everything else, I don't have to worry about um, tilting it to get a better look and all the candy falling out or worrying about the flowers. This is just a really easy way to create your bow. And remember, I've got that one little glue dot in the back holding it in place. Okay, speaking of glue dots, because this is bigger and because this is bigger and I want to make sure that the cup is gonna stay in place once I start filling it, I'm actually gonna add a couple glue dots to the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna flip this over. Add a glue dot here. And here. Is everybody familiar with glue dots? I, those of you who've known me, um, my day job, <laughs> I am uh, the resident craft expert on the Home Shopping Network, and I am all about adhesive. And glue dots are one of my favorites, so I'm super excited about them. So I just put three on there. Again, this is not permanent. So when I'm done with this, or when I'm done displaying this, I can just pull this glass right out, take these off, save this for another occasion. So now I can take this, stick it inside, and now that's gonna stay. See how when I move it around, it stays in place. So now I don't have to worry and I can really easily um, pour my candy in there. Okay, we're gonna go back to our, go back to our plastic bag. Just sort of fill it in there. Now I'm gonna take my <laughs> Mac Daddy bag of conversation hearts. If you have not shared with us your thoughts about conversation hearts, I would love for you to because I'm so curious how everybody feels about them. 
because I really do enjoy them for decorating. I just don't enjoy them for eating that much. So this is another one where you're just gonna sort of manually add them in. I'm turning and I'm turning. And this is, you're gonna use, these are some value bags. I think we use about one and a half of these. But what's great is these are so, you could glue these on projects if you don't wanna eat them. You could, um, your kids will love them. I mean, they're just so much fun for, and they're really inexpensive and they're bright and colorful, so much fun. Okay, everybody tell me where you are. Where are you, where are you want, tuning in from? I um, live outside of Annapolis, Maryland in a place called Arnold. Um, we, my husband and I, both grew up near here, um, but he's in the military. So this is our first time home in, in quite a while. So we're really excited, excited to be here. We've been here about a year and a half. We're really loving it. It's been nice to reconnect with old friends. Um, nice to be back where there are four seasons. I want everyone to know, is it cold where you are? Do you have snow? We're about, today it's about 50 degrees. Who knows what it'll be like tomorrow. So this is gonna take a few minutes, obviously. Um, the other option, which apparently I was not bright enough to do, is to just stuff your cup jam-packed full with paper towels or whatever, and that way you don't have to be quite so gentle. But I love how this is turning out. I love the bright pink bow um, against the contrast of the cup. And you'll notice with the cup is glued down because of the glue dots, but I can still move it around a little bit, which I think is really helpful because then I can get some of the candy hearts in where I need to fill up a little bit more space. And again, this is another one where you're just going to fill it up to the line of your other cup. And I wanna say these bags of conversation hearts maybe cost me a couple bucks a piece. Um, the vase I already ha the had, or the, sorry, the cup I already had, the vase we got. So this whole thing, including the dozen roses, costs less than $20. Um, you would spend double that. In fact, when I went to pick up the flowers this afternoon, they had um, bouquets just with like bars of candy sticking up for $35, $40 is absolutely crazy. But you, my friends, can make your own and people will think you are amazing. Okay, so we're getting here to the home stretch. I love how this is turning out. Add a few more. And then remember, we're just gonna pull out our bag. And there may be a few few candy hearts in there that you can just scoop out. And then even still, even though I could actually fit my um, glass cup of water in there, I still want to use my um, little green there we go, funnel because then I can see and I don't have to worry because it would be a hot mess if I got water on these hearts. Pour it in, add a dozen or so roses, set it right inside. And look at how pretty, good. get all my stuff out of the way so I can show you guys how cute this turned out. Look at how pretty that is. I just love the way that this all turned out. And it was so easy and they all just took a few minutes. Oops, I'm dropping stuff over here. Um, so I love these three projects. We've got just another few minutes left, so I wanna show you one really quickly that doesn't involve vases or glassware so much as it involves the plates we've got around our house. So this is just a little snack slash dessert place from our house. I'm just gonna take a red candle. It's very nice, which I also happen to have at my house. <laughs> um, this would be great if you're looking for a centerpiece idea. I could see three, five of these um, across your dinner table. I'm just gonna set this in the center of the plate. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm not gonna attach it. You could also use a candle that's in glass if you prefer. And then I am going to take my other bag of M&Ms and just start 
sprinkling them around. And again, I'm rotating the plate, not the candle. But look at how pretty that is. And again, I've already told you guys, I will full on eat this candy. Hopefully, oops, I'm spilling it everywhere. Hopefully your guests will as well. But look at how pretty and easy it is. And then you can smooth it out if you want, or you can add a couple more M&Ms. But I love the look of this. Where can I put this? I'm gonna put this right here. So you can see all the finished projects. Glass where you've already got at home, Valentine's Day candy. And again, you could do this with candy corn at Halloween. You could do it with jelly beans at Easter. So many great ideas. Think of all the Christmas candies. I mean, so many great choices. Things that you can make, easy, relatively inexpensive gifts. I'm so excited and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, thank you for attending my very first Home Talk TV uh, tutorial class. I hope you will click the follow button so that you can join me for all my future classes. I should be here about twice a month. We'll be doing some fun crafts and DIY. Don't forget, you can get the materials link and click on um, find out where we got all this good stuff. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. Talk to you later.